I'm uh, Daryl Bensinger from DNL Bensinger Jeep Parts today. Uh, our camera operator today is Lyda Bensinger. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit today about the uh, reproduction of sheet metal bodies. The first body we have here today is a World War II Jeep body. These are bodies that we uh, import from MD1 in the Philippines. DNL Bensinger is one of only three actual importers of these bodies from the Philippines. We're actually one of the three people that have the import contract. This body you see here today is in bare steel. In the last two years, or all the bodies that are being made by MD1 are made with what's called a galvanized steel. That is a electroplated galvanized coating on the steel. This body is almost two years old. It's been rained on numerous times uh, at shows and display, and as you see, it shows no evidence of rust. Your body will not come this way, however. This is a display body showing the materials that are made. The bodies are going to come, like this one back here, this is an MB body kit. This body kit is how, the, is how we get the MB body kits. It will be shipped to you in this manner. The bottom, of the bottom of the frame is an open metal crate. The top of the crate is wood. They come in sitting on their sides like this. The box is 5 feet high, 7 feet long, and about 32 inches deep. So you can put this in the back of a full-size pickup truck, you can put this on a trailer. There are four truck holes made into the side of the crate so that if, we, if you bring a trailer or a, some kind of small snowmobile trailer or a car trailer, we can lay it down and put it on the trailer in its flat position as we go on the vehicle. But when they come to us, and the way we normally ship map motor freight, if you're going to have a motor freight uh, purchase, this is an MD body kit here. Walk over here and look at a CJ2A. This is the exact same, same basic kit, only this is a CJ2A. In general, the CJ series, the civilian Jeeps, have a black primer on them, and the military models, whether it's an MB, a GPW, an M38, 30A1, they'll have a red oxide primer on them. This is basically how you're how your kit will come from DNL Bensinger. You'll see that it has the fenders in here. We have a grill underneath the bottom of the hood, the hood, the top bows, and the entire body is in this creek, including, including the accessory kit. When you open up the crate, this is what you can expect to see. Now over on this side, we've got some of the major components out of the body kit. They're still packed in their bubble wrap packaging. But again, all the major components that are inside the tub, same size box, include the grill, the two front fenders, the windshield frame, the hood, and in our case, the top bows. Not every dealer puts the same items in their kit. But you get a kit from us, you're going to include the top bows, and you're going to include the accessory package. In just a minute, we're going to take a look at what's in the accessory package. Okay, this is the accessory package that comes with uh, Dino Bensinger bodies. This is a package that we specify for our customers. Like I say, not every dealer will have this same package. When you're shopping for a body, you got to ask and find out what's in the body, what's, what comes with, and then you're going to know whether you're paying the same price or not the same price. Here are the items that are included in the accessory kit. This is the windshield cow rubber. You have the windshield to dash latches. These are the brackets to mount the tow boards to the frame. You have the items to install the top bow. This will be your storage brackets, your pivot brackets, your pivot castings are all for insta installing the top bow. We include the four body handles on the World War II Jeep, the two side handles, the two corner handles. We also include the items for shovel and axe mounting. Your shovel point bracket your axe loop and your axe hinge. In addition, the two, two rings to install your uh, transmission boots on the floor, your two doorway safety strap anchors and bolts, the T-rubber that goes in the inner windshield frame from the inner windshield frame to the outer windshield frame, and the wooden hood blocks. Also included is the bag of footman loops that 
that attach your top one to the rear of the panel. And this is the accessory kit that comes along with our, our body with addition of the top bows we showed you previously. One of the more popular uh, civilian Jeeps of recent, recent manufacture is the CJ8 Scrambler. Here we have a CJ8 Scrambler kit. It's put together in basically the same situation as what you see in the World War II kits or the CJ civilian flat fender kits. The body tub is in here. We've got the tailgate, hood, fenders, windshield frame, all that in one kit. Now if you decide you want only the body tub, you know we can say it just the tub by itself but we also have the package all together. This is, a, this is obviously a much bigger crit, kit being as, being as a scrambler. With this, with this kit you're talking 124 inches to get this thing loaded if we, uh, if we put it on motor freight. And again, although we have it sitting down here now on its side to display it to you, when shipped, it'll be shipped on its side when it goes in motor freight. The CJ8 is uh, getting to be a very popular scrambler model Jeep, so we now have bodies and also body components, floorboards, individual panels to repair your scrambler. Okay, there you have a quick review of some of the body panels and body sheet metal kits that we have available at DNL Bensinger. Like I say, you're looking for a body for your Jeep, give us a call, talk to us about what you're interested in, and we can explain any more details you'd like to have. In addition to replacement bodies and body kits, we also import frames for, the, for most of the early model Jeeps. The bottom black frame here is a CJ2A. As I mentioned earlier, most of the CJ items are painted in black primer. Most of the World War II items or military items are painted in red oxide primer. The next two frames are for World War II Jeeps. And on top here are frames for the World War II MBT trailer. These are just some of the offerings currently available. And every year we come out with something different, something new.